Oh, brought to you by me going 7-2 and two last week. We are cooking. Let's get to the games. What a slate, fellas. Number three, Alabama laying seven. They travel to number six, Tennessee. Oh, it's an orange out. Rico Beard. Still don't know what's going to happen with Bryce Young, but I don't think it matters. Tennessee, orange out. It could be a gray out, black out, white out. Doesn't matter because they're going to get knocked out. Give me the uh, Alabama Crimson Tide roll tie. Oh, I see what you did there. Over to Kenny Cott. I love that checkerboard. Tennessee might be for real. They're definitely not winning, but they will cover. Give me Tennessee. Hatchet man. Oh. <laughs> Alabama. I, this, uh, Alabama. I can, can't say anything now. That's it. That's all. <laughs> Over to TJ Jenkins. Well, John and I talked about it on Necessary Roughness this past week. And uh, offensive line. Let's go Alabama. All 17 people heard it. I'll take Bama. Bounce back spot. All right. Oklahoma. Number no number eight, Oklahoma State. Traveling to TCU. Rico, keep it together. TCU laying four. Rico. I'm going to go with Oklahoma State. Uh, I think that. You would. Uh, I mean, Mike, you know what? This is my team out in the uh, Big 12. I think Oklahoma State I don't think TCU will cover, but I think Oklahoma State just flat out wins this thing. Over to Kenny Cott. TCU stat 4-0-1 and one against the spread this year. They'll keep covering. TCU. My man. Over to David. Oklahoma State Cowboys are 9-0 and against the spread in their last nine road games versus a team with a winning record. I am going Oklahoma Ooh. State. They're doing the research, people. Over to TJ Jenkins. Uh when I uh, am not thinking about my playing days with Donald Driver, I am listening to Cash the Ticket, where you can get your podcast on Apple. Uh, you guys were talking about it and convinced me to take TCU this week. Okay, I don't know that that's true, but yes. Uh, <laughs> what 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 the hell are the whatever the fans do with their hands for the froggies? Frog. Horny up or whatever it no, is. No, it's, yeah. it's this. Oh yeah, horning. Tony, up, yeah, the, yeah. we're horning. Let's get it. TCU. <laughs> Clemson laying three and a half, traveling to Florida State. Rico. This is the Mike Valenti. Be careful about this. This game doesn't look right. Clemson Vanny is number Scanny. Clemson is number four in the nation and only a three and a half point favorite on the road at Florida State. Over a team who's lost two games in a row. Yeah, give me the same. Vanny Scatty. Over to Kenny. Yeah, this is spooky season. I'm going to go Florida State because this line just terrifies me. Let's all ride together. Go ahead, David. Oh, thank you for giving me this game. The Tigers are 6-1 and against the spread in their last seven conference games. This is easy, Clemson. Uh-huh. What did God tell you that? Uh, TJ. He told Dabo. Did you know Max Dabo Crosby God, same thing. went to Eastern Michigan, so I'm going to take Clemson? <laughs> spread looks weird. I'm not looking past it. I'm just taking FSU. I can't figure that out. Number seven, USC traveling to Utah. Utah laying three and a half. Rico, you know what to do. You know, I you like, know what to do. You know, I like watching the USC Trojans, but. You know what to do. It's a blackout, black unis at night in Utah. Dark mode. Give me the Utes. Yes. Over to Kenny Cott. Roberts, Utah Roberts. also undefeated against the spread at home. I'll take the Utes. Over to David. It is a blackout in Utah and black in Utah. Don't go together. I'm going oh. USC. Oh, wait, that's, okay, that's not fair. Over, wow. over to Evan or TJ or whatever this is. <laughs> well, since I'm winning and obviously you guys don't like winning, I'm going to take the winning pick, and that's USC. It's Utah. They don't lose at home. They're, I think they're 15 and one against the number the last 16 there. USC has been living a charmed life with turnovers. I'm taking the Utes. Wisconsin laying seven and a half to Michigan State. Rico. This is it, man. <laughs> I'll take Michigan State in the points. There it is. <laughs> His back against the wall. Kenny. I've had numbers for damn near every pick so far. This one, I have none of those. Sparty stinks. Give me Wisconsin. 
That's not nice. Over to David. I'm really hoping that Michigan State. <laughs> no, I'm not. Wisconsin. Yeah, you, diarrhea, stage, Sunday. It's happening. Uh, Evan. Yeah, that's a sp- Evan, TJ, somebody sitting in that chair. I couldn't talk over the drop. I mean, come on. Uh, TJ loves Michigan State, so I'm going to change his pick here and say Michigan State. <laughs> that's uh, you know, You'll pay for that. Yeah, um, I'm going to take State because, well, what Rico said. All right, the showdown. Number 10, Penn State catching seven from number five, Michigan, in the Lloyd Carr Tunnel dedication game. Rico Beard. Uh, I'm looking at this Penn State team, Mike, and, and it really comes down to Manny Diaz and that Penn State defense is different. I don't know if they'll be able to score enough points, but uh, I'm taking Penn State in the points in this game. Over to Kenny Cott. Yeah, big spot for Michigan. <laughs> this will be a test. Uh, give me Penn State in the points. Whoa. All right, David, are you going to go three for three? Yeah, a lot of people are going to say I'm not a real Michigan fan here. Michigan wins, but I got to take Penn State in the points. All right, oh my well, God, Evan, I'm going to have to say go blue Penn State, baby. So wait, let me get this straight. King Sparty is the only one who's going to take Michigan in. Oh. I'll steal a game. Every time Penn State comes here, they fall down a flight of stairs. Uh, I'm going to take Michigan. I just don't believe in James Franklin uh, in Ann Arbor. Let's go to the NFL, shall we? Oh, boy. Tricky, tricky spot. Cardinals laying two and a half at Seattle. The Geno Smith experience. Rico. You know what? This is, man, this game was you so. know what to do. Yeah, this was so difficult to pick, Mike, but you know what? Pray on it. Ariz- you know what to do. Arizona is 2-0 and oh on the road. No. No. But I like Geno Smith. Yes. I like what he's Come doing. On. And just because. Out of spite because you said he's not an NFL quarterback? Give me the sea chickens. I'm going to get you out of last place, and that's the type of sharp play we're going to need to do it. Excellent work. Over to Kenny. Sorry to spoil the good vibes, but the cards on the roads, 2-0 and against the spread and Seahawks stink. Give me Arizona. You're a drunk, and I hate you. Over to David. Battle of birds, I guess, and the battle of the black quarterbacks, but I have to go with the hottest and the tallest quarterback, Geno Smith, Seahawks. No love for the short king? Nah, I'm good with that today. Not after he slid like an idiot on second and one last week. Uh, TJ, Uh, Evan. I am still bitter about the loss to the Seahawks back in the day where the refs blew that call, so I'm going to take Arizona. Seattle. All right. Oh, boy. The Baltimore Ravens laying five and a half at America's Giants. Rico Beard. This is the devil's number at five and a Uh half. You know what to do. Mike, I can't. I cannot do it because Uh, I, I make fun of you, but you don't have a quarterback. And they do. Yeah, Give me the Ravens. You broke my heart. Over to Kenny. Yeah, I'll double dip in that with you, Rico. I'm taking the Ravens as well. Oh, well, you know, wipe it off your nose already, will you please? Oh, over to over to David. Is someone going to support me? The Giants have been looking good this year. Saquon Barkley looks to be back, but I'm sorry I have to do this, Mike. Baltimore all day. God bless it. What was over that? to this. Omar coming. Yeah. Uh, the wire. The farmer in the Dell. Got that red top. Got that red top. You know, what over the, to, over what to the world is Sarah to go TJ drop? thing. Sarah. T- oh, Sarah Toga. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Good God. Uh, I'm when, like Sarah to go. <laughs> you know. Uh, giants. <laughs> TJ picks the Giants. <laughs> It's not Sarah to get to her, go. it's together. <laughs> it harkens back to the famous Silver Doomy episode of this show. Did you know Years Will ago. I Am is William? <laughs> All right, thank you. That That's sufficient. Giants. All right, Bills, Chiefs. Actually, hold on. Do Bills, Chiefs last, boys. Let's go Cowboys and Eagles. Eagles laying six and a half on Sunday night. 
Rico. Uh, I think that is a lot of hate going on between those two teams, Mike. Don't know what's going to go on with Dak, but I think Cooper Rush is good enough to keep this game close. Give me the Cowboys and the points. Gross. Over to Kenny. I was expecting this to be the last pick where the Lions normally would be. So I'm going to punt and say that the Detroit Red Wings are going to beat Montreal opening no. night. He's gone. Uh, I am Elvis going with Soderbloom. <laughs> I am going with the Cowboys keeping this game close. TJ, Evan, it, thing. In honor of Steve Eiserman never winning a cup with the Tampa Bay Lightning, I am going to take the Eagles. <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with anything? That was just a slam at Kenny. This is an Eagles get right spot. I th- I think this is where the blooms off the rose for the Cowboys. Eagles lay the six. All right, Bills wow. Chiefs. This this game is game of the year. Bills laying two and a half, riding into Arrowhead. Rico Beard. I think they're going to ride into Arrowhead, but they're going to end up taking that L. Just give me the Chiefs flat out winning this thing. Kenny Cott. I think this might be the Bills year, and KC has not once this year covered at home. Give me Bills Mafia. Elmer Soffenstein, over to David. (laughs) I expect this to be a great game. I am going with the Bills, but I also have to say, go Cast Tech, go. Wow. Oh, my. Um, You're going to lose. You know that, right? No. Okay. When TJ made these picks, was this pre-Wisdom Teeth or post? Good question. I think it It was was pre. Pre. Okay, because it seems like he was on his meds when he made some of these, but we're going to take the Chiefs. And I'm taking the Bills. I think it just means more for the team who doesn't have the ring. Entire offseason dedicated to beating the Chiefs. Take the Bills. All right, boys, those are the picks. Rico, you're going to have a good week this week. I feel it in my bones. Those are the picks.